If you're like me, you're quite skeptical of the pictures we've just seen. But there might be something going on because recently there's been a whole host of sightings. And the common link, strangely enough, is this, the River Mersey. It started to go upwards, straight up into the sky. And even through the clouds, you could see this thing. The object shot off towards uh, Liverpool and, and across the Mersey and disappeared quite rapidly. In Halton, we have a lot more sightings reported. We have like a mini wave at the moment. <laughs> These people are on a mission. Their quest is to find answers to some of the unusual sightings being reported along the River Mersey corridor. They're setting up an all-night vigil on a hill above Runcorn. They call themselves MARA, the Merseyside Anomalies Research Association. Their role is to objectively analyse any reports of UFOs. Most sightings have been successfully solved. They turn out to be caused by atmospheric conditions, planes or stars in the sky, but there are some which they can't explain, and tonight they're hoping to find more. Tony Eccles is co-founder of MARA. By day, he's an assistant curator at Liverpool Museum. By night, he's a sky watcher, and now he's an author. He's written a book about the many UFO sightings around Merseyside. Tony, how many UFO sightings did you investigate for your book? I've investigated over 150 sightings, but I've only used about 100 of them for the book. Um, some of those sightings are quite spectacular. Um, most of them in the book are, are unidentified sightings. Some have left in which are identified because they are unusual in nature. Merseyside is, is just like anywhere else. You will have a high number of sightings, particularly in the darker nights. But then you have high focus areas, um, such as the Wirral, West Kirby, Bidston, the M53 motorway, the M62 motorway, Halewood, Formby, Old Swan, uh, Rainford Bypass. We've had one particular sighting of an object seen um, hovering over the river, sucking water up. We've had another case in 97 of an object coming out of the River Mersey and ascending into the sky. It was over there that I actually saw the thing come out of the river and it was really extraordinary black jet black shockingly black so I can only way I can describe it as being an absolute shocking thing to see Ron Jones is a former Royal Marine as a professional soldier his life sometimes depended on making accurate observations his house at Egremont near Wallasey overlooks the Mersey but by the time I'd got the binoculars the thing had gone too far down the river and but then it started to go upwards straight up into the sky and even through the clouds you could see this thing like a black dot but through the it was black through the clouds it was the most weird thing i've ever seen in my life and i've seen so many things being in the marines and being abroad a lot do you find people say to you look you've lost your marbles oh yeah yeah i do and i agree with them you know but not over this <laughs> Ron saw something he'll never forget, and something no one so far has been able to offer any logical explanation to. Ron's a classic example of a very unusual sighting. Um, it's very specific because we have three sets of witnesses in three different locations looking at the same object at the same time on the same day. So you know exactly what it looks like. There's no deviation from any of the other witnesses. It's the same black object coming up from the ground. Now, I spoke to the harbour master about this, and the harbour master wrote back to me saying that they didn't have any military operations going on there. I thought there might have been mini sub activity or someone was experimenting with balloons. Um, I had nothing back from the airport to say, you know, they could identify it. So that's quite an anomaly. And it's quite typical of people seeing mysterious objects either coming out of or going into the Mersey itself. We just don't know why that's happening. So you don't know what it is? No idea. Over at Runcorn, the Skywatch team scan the skies for any sightings. By day, things look fairly ordinary around here. But by night, it's very different. You can see why people might see things around here. Suddenly, there's a strange light in the sky. But like many UFO sightings, it turns out to be the lights of an aircraft. But this photograph is not so easy to explain. This may look like a classic flying saucer picture from the 1950s, but it was actually taken near New Brighton. 
If this comes out as being genuine, in other words, it's not a flaw in the photography and it hasn't been faked, then it's a very important piece of evidence as to having a genuine anomaly captured on photograph. Now, what that anomaly actually is, it's hard to say. We just don't know. Dave Sadler's an aviation engineer. He makes wings for aircraft for a living. He's spent many years investigating UFO sightings and he's working with Mara to try and solve the mystery of the photograph taken by a man out walking his dog. What he witnessed was what looks like a saucer-shaped craft basically just above us and um, automatically took a photograph. While he was winding on, the anomaly had shot off towards the Mersey, uh, passed over the Mersey in Liverpool quite rapidly. Um, we've looked into this extensively and, and currently can't give uh, a good answer as to what it actually was. I'd like to suggest it would be some form of extraterrestrial craft, but it may sound a bit far-fetched, so I'm still unknown. We've looked at it extensively. Uh, it has had analysis. Everything about the photograph that he claims seems to be correct. Um, everything's in proportion, everything's to scale. Uh, the negative does have the the, the picture of the, the object on it. There's, there's, there's no need for it to be a hoax, and we definitely think it's not a hoax. For the Mara team, all roads lead to Roncorn at the moment. There's been a spate of unsolved sightings here, from Halewood along the Mersey towards Halton. Mara's dossier, which contains several eyewitness accounts, poses more questions than answers. And the biggest mystery of all are these lights recorded by a security camera. The lights are moving erratically from west to east, over Halewood and out to the Mersey. Well, the lights were seen just over there, just in front of the Jaguar factory. Then they went off that way towards Runcorn. Well, Bill, you've been investigating this for about a year now, and you still don't know what they are? That's correct. We haven't come to a conclusion yet. We've actually sent the video footage out to two separate professional sources. Uh, it's been analysed by one of them, and they came up with the conclusion that it was actually birds flying. The lights were far too bright to be birds, in my opinion, uh, especially when you compare it with the lighting down at ground level. Also, the, the lights were not um, moving in the way I would expect birds to move. They were not in the same formation that you would expect to see birds in at night time. For example, birds nearly always fly in a V formation or a straight line formation at night. These were not in that sort of formation at all. Bill's frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the film shows another strange light moving low across Halewood. So far, experts at the Ministry of Defence, Liverpool Airport and Jodrell Bank have failed to solve the mystery of the Halewood lights. For the Mara group, the search for answers will go on. And for Tony, those answers may be closer to home than the stars. What we're looking at is a subject that's not entirely physical. People might not be looking at a very physical phenomenon. It might be paraphysical, something that's ghost-like, like an apparition. We have to ask ourselves the question then, is it something to do with our reality? Or is it something to do with flying sources coming from distant planets? And, and for me, and for what the evidence leads me to, it has something to do more with our reality than anything else.